Hey everyone, it's TJ with Avidyne again. In the following brief video, we're going to be discussing the IFD interface with the GTX 335 transponder. As always, uh, everything in the following video is for reference use only. For FA approved data, please refer to the IFD installation manual and make sure you're looking at the latest rev. So jumping right in, um, in order to get Qualify GPS input to the GTX 335. We're going to use an RS-232 out of the IFD. We're going to set that for either ADS-B plus G, which is going to be a 9600 baud rate, or ADS-B plus G2, which is a 38400 baud rate. Uh, GTX 335 side of things should be configured for either ADS-B plus format 1, if we're going to use 9600, or ADS-B plus format 2 if we're going to use 38400. GPS integrity needs to be set to 1E7 on the GTX 335. And then we've got an Airing 429 coming back into the IFD. Um, we're going to set that for GTX 330 with traffic if it is desired to use the TIS traffic from the GTX 335 as the traffic source for the IFD. Otherwise, we're going to set that to regular old GTX 330. The big differentiator there is if we have some other traffic device on board, some other ADS-B receiver or active traffic system, um, we're going to set that just for straight GTX 330. Only if we're using the TIS traffic from the GTX would we set that to GTX 330 with traffic. And if we are going to use that TIS traffic from the GTX 335, going to have to wire up the TIS-A select wire as well. Um, otherwise, that can be left uninstalled. So uh, that discrete output is going to be turned off or on via software in the Airing 429 port setting, GTX 330 with traffic versus straight GTX 330. So uh, that can go either way. And that's all the information I've got for this interface. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact techsupport at avidine.com, and we'll see you in the next one.